G'day guys, how's it going? How's your week been? Janko Flames here for another episode of Flames Footy Chat. I'm going to start with round 27, as I always do with the round that has just happened. The first round we had Sydney FC, the Premier, Premier's Plate winners, against Melbourne Victory. Sydney FC got up 1-0 on that game with the goal scorer being the one and only no other Bobo. He is unbloody stoppable. Melbourne City had 60% possession over Sydney FC's 40%. As I like to say, quality over quantity, as Sydney FC got the win. Um, Melbourne Victory had 551 passes to Sydney FC's 369. <laughs> 69. Uh, Sydney FC outclassed Melbourne Victory in, ju- in the duels. The aerial, the on the ground, all of it was pretty pretty well outclassed by the Premiers. I think, yes, I'm a Wanderers fan, but I think Sydney FC can take it out. I'm not cheering Sydney FC on the final. I'll tell you later who I'm cheering on. Discipline was pretty even in both the sides. Same amount of fouls. I think there was two to one red cards. Uh, The second game we had Wellington Phoenix 2 defeating Melbourne City 1. That shocked me. The two goal scorers for Wellington being Sarpreet Singh, well, the one goal scorer for Wellington being Sarpreet Singh in the 33rd and 58th minute, and Bruno Fornaroli is scoring in the 20th. The Phoenix lit frogs, um, Sengkas Mariners, and Mariners are now bottom of the table. Melbourne City had a shockingly high possession rate, 60, 64% to Wellington's 30s. 64% to Wellington's 36%. Melbourne City nearly doubled Western uh, the Phoenix's passes, 619 to 384. Melbourne City out outplayed them, but Wellington put that one extra ball in the back of the net, which counted. The third game, I hate to be a Mariners fan right now. Central Coast Mariners, two. Newcastle Jets, eight. The two goal scorers for Wellington being Connor Payne in the 39th and Trent Buhaja in the 80th. Um, and the eight goal scorers for Wellington, well, not not eight, no, it's not Wellington, it's Newcastle. Uh, O'Donovan scoring a, a brace in the 20th and 68th minute. Champion is scoring in the 10th. Riley McGee, Riley McGree, Scoring a hat trick in the 50, uh, 24, 53rd, and 75, 75th. Jackson scoring in the 61st, and Dimi Petrato scoring in the 81st. It was a goal fest on the coast. 10 goals in total. With that loss, as I said before, with the Mariners losing that game and uh, Wellington Phoenix winning their game against Melbourne City. That gives Central Coast Mariners the wooden spoon. Oh, wouldn't I love to be on the Central Coast right now, giving it to the guy that gave it to us when me and my editor, Rafi, Team Boy Boy, went to Central Coast. But an absolute goal fest. It was pretty even with both sides having the even amount of possession, Newcastle getting three yellow cards, But that doesn't matter when you win eight goals to two. Uh, I I was shocked to see that. The next game, we had Brisbane Raw away, all the way in Perth. Perth Glory scoring twice. Brisbane Raw scoring three times. Um, Perth, Adam Taggart scoring in the 24th. Jacob Pepper scoring in the 86th. And yes... Um, Pepper is a Brisbane Raw player. He scored. He scored a known goal, which didn't really matter because his team still got up. Diego Castro getting a missed penalty in the 80, uh, 79th minute, and the three goal scorers for Brisbane Raw being um, Enrique, fan favourite, Thomas Christiansen in the 40th, and Enrique again in the 52nd. So he scored a brace, fan favourite. As we all know, with that, that Wanderers needed to win to come through, 
And as I'll talk about in the next game, that wasn't the case. The attendance for the Perth Glory match was 9,579. If if your team if your team isn't in the uh, A League finals, comment down below who you're following. I went past I went past the team I said I was going to. I'm cheering on. I'm cheering on the f uh, the the New Newcastle Newcastle Jets. I'm cheering on. Because I just feel like they'll... I feel like they've just got enough in them to... Go ahead. Back to the... Uh, no, I won't. I'll just... I'll carry through straight to the Wanderers game. Even though I don't want to. Western Sydney Wanderers 2. Defeat Adelaide... Uh, Adelaide defeated the Wanderers 3 goals to 2. Ariel Riera scoring a penalty in the 16th. And Karuska scoring in the 42nd. Um... Baba Diawara scoring the 21st, Daniel Adlon scoring the 39th, and I knew it was all over when Ryan Kiddo scored in the 80th. Baby Bacchus Keanu was red carded in the 62nd minute for kicking out. I think it was pretty... I didn't think that was red card worthy. Uh, Riera missing a penalty on half time, which, which really didn't help our case. Adelaide had... More possession, 58 to 42 percent. Western Sydney Wanderers season is over. Um, hashtag re-sign Santa. Hashtag re-sign Santa. There's rumours that he's not going to get re-signed to the club, which would be, which would be a real, real kick in the teeth. He is a club legend. I've had chats to him over Instagram. He'd be pretty, he'll be pretty depressed if he doesn't get re-signed. He'll be pretty unhappy, which, you're a club favourite, so, club favourite, club legend. You've almost scored the most amount of goals in a season, where Riera has beaten you with 15 goals. I'm, I'm really hoping he gets re-signed. He's one of my favourite. And if he doesn't get re-signed, I'm going to be really, really depressed for him. He's, he's a great down-to-earth guy. The elimination final. Uh, this one's going to be interesting. We've got Melbourne City FC home against um, Brisbane Raw FC. I really don't know who to go for in this game. Because, you know... Elimination finals, anything can happen. This game... It's played at Melbourne, since Melbourne were the higher ranked side this season. I'm going Melbourne... I'm going Melbourne City. With Brisbane Raw being... Brisbane Raw getting knocked out. Yeah, both the elimination finals were played in Melbourne. Melbourne victory playing Adelaide. I think, I think Adelaide will beat Melbourne victory. I know that's a brave, brave, brave call saying that. But also comment down below who you think will, will win and get through. I've got an Adelaide in this game, with Sydney FC and Newcastle having the week off to prepare. Actually, both the both the elimination finals are played at Amy Park. Both played on Foxtel, because there's no Sunday Saturday game. But I'm going Melbourne City to beat to beat and knock out Brisbane Raw, and Adelaide to knock out Br uh, Melbourne Victory at home. So, yeah, that's that. That one can go down to the wire. City, Adelaide. I'd like to say the Wanderers, but they're not in the final. Have a good week, guys. Tune in next week for another episode of Flames Footy Chat. Same place, same time. Janko Flames. <laughs>